Here is a, a quick screen capture of the work done to date on the uh, Mac Port of Mark Edit um, that's being made available to a handful of folks who want to give it a go. Um, the way that the uh, tool has been created, it is now um, completely self-contained. Uh, I went ahead and dropped a, the app version um, right here on a jump drive. Uh, and essentially all you need to do is just drop it into your applications directory and it will do its little copy thing and just so folks can tell I have not installed mono on this machine we can quickly take a look at that look for a version of it there's no version of mono on this machine um, so the version of mark edit has been dropped into the apps directory uh, so we can find it right here so um, we'll just go ahead and, and boot it up and walk through a few places. So we'll go ahead and get it started. Um, it takes the uh, first time you run it, it will take a little bit longer, but notice it wasn't that long. Um, and here's the, the first version. So you'll see everything in the Mark Tools area has been completed. Uh, that includes what you'll find on the drop down here, the duplicate records, validator, batch, join, split, and merge are all completed. Um, from here, if you click on buttons that aren't finished, it'll tell you that those aren't complete. The next thing that I'll be working on will be the Mark Editor, which will also include the RDA helper as part of that. Uh, but the Join button works. You'll see it jumps to the Join tool. Uh, all the functionality that you'll find in the um, uh, Linux and uh, Windows version of Mark Edit is um, shown here. Um, you also see the, the split. Um, character conversions and the batch processing tool and again those are all available through buttons so we can jump to each one of these here so let's go ahead and go to the mark tools uh, this is what the mark tools function looks like it's slightly different um, than the main ver the the windows and the linux version uh, screen's been reduced um, rather than having a gigantic list um, to select from the list is there but it's now a drop down list so we can go ahead and uh, select um, a set of data files to work with. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, grab um, a set of data. So we'll just grab this one. And we'll go ahead and save it. And pick the uh, function we want to do. So we're going to break it and execute it. So 300 records done. Um, we can remake records, so we can go ahead and select uh, to select our new function, our breaker. Uh, so now we can select that, and save it to save it. And so the records have been processed. Um, from here, just like the old version, we, the Windows version, we can check these options. Go to Mark 8 or UTF 8 or you can open the character conversion tool and you can select from any of the encodings found um, in the list here. Um, all the ones that are available in the uh, Windows version of Mark Edit, in addition to anything that's not there, you can select um, from the uh, code page window, Windows book. Um, everything that's a code page that's available in Windows through the knowledge bank base is available to you in addition to um, some additional other ones. Um, mark join and mark split work like they're supposed to. Um, I have the merge tool. So let's go ahead and merge records. Um, pretty sure I have a sample set here. I'll go to here. I have merge set. This is a 52 megabyte file so you can see how fast the process works. The merge data file is a 32 megabyte data file. We're going to output to this file. We'll select the merge method. Um, it's slightly different than the other version in that instead of having lists that you select from, you just enter in the fields. Each field number is a new line, so if I wanted to enter in more than one line, um, I just hit enter and then enter in the next line that I wanted to. Um, add uh, data from. So if I had another set 
uh, like say a 650 and then I can tell it to merge just unique items and that does the comparison like the Windows and Linux version tell it to process and it goes ahead and um, completes and you'll see that it says it's completed there's a few things I need to work on which has to do with um, a little bit of more responsiveness so that you can actually see data being processed as it goes along but um, you see that that was uh, done quickly uh, the validator works uh, like the um, previous version of uh, mark edit so we'll go ahead and click it um, it does validation uh, just like the uh, uh, other version so we can select a uh, set of data to validate and have it process and you come back with your list of things based on the rules file um, again you can uh, check for invalid records in this case there wasn't any um, and just like the old version you can remove invalid records if they exist um, so all that stuff exists and seems to be working pretty well um, the needs to be a little more testing um, looking forward to getting some feedback on the merge tool um, and the dedupe tool, those are working. Uh, I haven't done a lot of testing, but they seem to work. The batch process tool, um, just like uh, the other versions. So if I take a set of data, uh, so let's go ahead and take this one and a save folder, documents. Let's go ahead and put it here. And then we'll say five records per file, 60 files generated. So we go back to our save file. We'll see again, like in the, uh, you see all those files. There's the M split files that were generated there. Um, I probably should have created a folder for them. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them all real quick and put them in a folder. folder, put them, put all the data files in here, and we'll go back and I'm going to get rid of these because I don't need them anywhere. Alright, so we have some split files, we can run a batch process over those. So select our directory, um, grab our split files right here, our file type being MRC, and we can go ahead and break them or use any of the functions that are available to us. You can see that the records have been processed now and they're found in the process directory, so split files. There's going to be a process directory, and we can see all the data that's been broken now. Uh, so that happens very quickly. Um, see that the now that the UI is written in Object C, the underlying components that uh, are the exact same components as part of the Windows and Linux version um, work well and and quickly. Um, so it looks like the the tool is working. Um, if you close the window, you'll see that the, like a normal Mac program, if you click on it, it restores it. Um, if you go up here, you'll find that you can restart it. Eventually, this button here will open the preference window, but it doesn't yet. Um, this is the small little about box. I'm going to modify that at some point here in the near future. Um, but anyways, um, that is pretty much what we've got. Uh, be interested in having folks try it out. Parts that are going to be next. Um, on the list is going to be um, working on the mark editor and uh, providing a place to reset the preferences because those aren't being set yet. Uh, at some point I think I will be able to um, allow folks to select um, a button to select their, their uh, buttons again um, like the Windows version and the Linux version does. Um, but uh, overall uh, having started working on this mid-late April. I've been pretty happy with 
where we're at right now and uh, we'll be interested in getting some feedback from uh, the handful of folks that are uh, giving it a go. And that's about it.